Zunjing de Gugu Li. Distinguished heads of state and heads of government, distinguished ministers, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, as the chief representative of the Beijing office of the World Economic Forum. It is my pleasure to be here to welcome you to the 12th annual meeting of the new champions in 2018 in Tianjin. Since I arrived in China three years ago, I have been witnessing the fast development of China into the most vibrant economy in the world. China has been developing its innovative capacity and it's been keeping up with the developed economies in Europe and North America and to some extent exceeding them, especially so in internet-based consumption and fintech and so on and so forth. Advanced manufacturing such as consumer electronics, shipbuilding, solar panels and high-speed rail systems. This incredible progress, however, has given rise to new challenges internationally in China's relations with other great powers and domestically where despite the incredible progress, China has yet to reach its ambitions in some key industrial sectors. Ru Jin de Zhongguo, Zhang Chuyu. Right now, China is at the exciting historical moment. On the one hand, China is still a emerging economy and it's just like other developing countries. It is facing a series of challenges. It is trying to move itself up the global value chain. On the other hand, with the advent of the fourth industrial revolution, we're now into a new chapter. China is now investing resources in science and technology in a hope that it will continue to leapfrog and to achieve advance, uh, advantages in, among industrial countries. Many countries are looking at China, looking forward to China uh, being the, uh, having the leadership and to share its model to other countries as an example. The meeting of new champions is globally significant in its reach and focus. In terms of reach, this meeting has always brought together the most influential leaders from the world of politics, global business, and science. But this year, we reached a record 2,500 participants, including over 500 leaders from the world's most exciting startups and early stage businesses. In terms of focus, it has become increasingly apparent that government and business leaders worldwide are struggling to keep pace with the speed of technological change in the fourth industrial revolution. This is especially evident in the policies and regulations governing technology. How do we foster innovation while at the same time promoting the safety, inclusiveness, and sustainability of new technologies to ensure that they truly serve humanity and society? Sometimes world leaders feel that they are qi hu nian xia, meaning when one is riding a tiger, it's hard to dismount. You are all important leaders in your own fields. We ask for your experience and your help to improve the international and cross-sectoral cooperation around these new technologies. Although past experiences are not necessarily the best guidance for our future, but we know that it usually takes time and patience if we want to achieve something grand, so we need to persist. To help us come up with tangible proposals and concrete actions for how we can best shape innovative societies in the fourth industrial revolution in China and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Jiang Guoqing, Mayor of Tianjin. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, in this golden and fruitful season, the 2018 Summer Davos Forum opens ceremoniously today. The new champions and old and new friends from all over the world are once again gathering in Tianjin 
On behalf of CPC Tianjin Municipal Committee, Tianjin Municipal People's Government, and more than 15 million people of the city, I would like to extend our warm congratulations on the opening of the forum and a sincere welcome to all the guests from home and abroad. This year marks the 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up. Summer Davos Forum and Tianjin have been developing the friendly relationship for 10 years, starting from the snow mountain in Switzerland and extending to the beautiful coast of the Bohai Sea. The annual meeting of the new champions not only provides an important platform for international community to share ideas and wisdom, expand friendship and mutual trust, and promote interaction and cooperation, but also provides a bridge and link and more opportunities for Tianjin to speed up reform and opening up, deeply integrate into global economic landscape. Please allow me to express my heartfelt thanks to Chairman Schwab and the friends from all walks of life who have made the forum a great success. President Xi Jinping has on many occasions pointed out insightfully that the world is undergoing profound changes unprecedented for the past century. One of the changes is the new round of scientific and technological revolution and the industrial transformation led by artificial intelligence, big data, quantum information, etc., which facilitate the integration and reconstruction of physical space, cyberspace, and biosphere, and profoundly changing people's work and life. The theme of this forum is shaping innovative societies in the fourth industrial revolution, which forms to the which conforms to the trend of the times and the concerns of all parties. It will play an active role in promoting the sustainable development of the world economy. In my opinion, to build an innovative society with scientific and technological innovation at its core, the key is to attach great importance to four roles. The first is the leading role of culture. Innovation is not to be monopolized by a few people. We should enrich the soil for innovation in the whole society and create a good environment where everyone can innovate and benefit from innovation so that innovation would become a value orientation, a way of life, and a spirit of the times. The second is the orientation role of market mechanism. Market would become the main means to optimize the allocation of the resources for innovation. Enterprises should become the real entities of innovation. A new mechanism should be built to support enterprise in technological innovation, management innovation, and business model innovation. The third is the role of guarantee of systemic policies. We should establish internationally accepted rules and standards, protect intellectual property rights, activate the vitality for innovation, and create a more fair, convenient, efficient, and transparent market environment, especially the environment of rule of law. The fourth role is the driving force of opening up. We will continue to forge ahead on the road of opening up, connectivity, and win-win cooperation. Abandon unilateralism and trade protectionism. Accelerate the free flow of talents, technology, capital, and information among countries. And shape innovative capabilities that are more in line with the common value. Tianjin is a city of new champion, characterized by openness, inclusiveness, innovation, and competitive edge. At present, we are thoroughly implementing Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era, conscientiously carrying out the tasks of the new development concept, deeply integrating into the Belt and Road Initiative, and facilitating the implementation of the major national strategy of the coordinated development of Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei area. We are making big strides in building Tianjin into a national advanced manufacturing R&D center, an international shipping hub in North China, a demonstration area for financial innovation and operation, and a pioneering area of reform and opening up. 
Honourable guests, ladies and gentlemen, the excellent, powerful thoughts can illuminate the way forward. Exploration for innovation will usher in the spring season of transformation. Let us take the advantage of the new round of industrial revolution by keeping up with the pace of the times, stimulating innovative ideas, strengthening close exchanges and cooperation, and working together to create a better future for world economy. Finally, I wish the forum a complete success. I wish all the honourable guests a pleasant stay in Tianjin. Thank you all.